Today I'd like to start with the first lesson in our series here and this lesson basically introduces us to statistics. Most of us might be familiar with statistics or maybe know just a little bit about the subject itself but in general what is statistics? Although we've heard and maybe know something about it there's actually some good definitions of statistics and really to boil it down to possibly just a really very easy one sentence definition Statistics, in general, is the science of learning from data. We use data to study the past and possibly use it to predict future experiences. However, you have to take care in the use of data because bad data can lead to results that are just not reliable at all. So, once again, statistics is the science of learning from data. And that's a very powerful thing because data will allow us to be able to predict things that happen in the future. Statistics is also concerned with the collection, the analysis, and the interpretation of data, as well as the effective communication and presentation of results relying on data. And we're going to break this course down into each one of these phases within this definition here. And probably one of the hardest things to do is collecting data that's good and representative of what we want to study. Once we make a good collection of data, we want to analyze the data. And after the analysis, we're going to interpret this and possibly use it to make decisions. Statistics is used in several fields. And most of us, as we pursue our studies in college are going to have to use statistics or take some type of statistics course and possibly use it in the real world itself. Statistics is a branch of mathematics that allows us to make quantitative reasoning necessary for important advances in the sciences such as medicine and genetics and for making important decisions in business and public policy. Statistics covers quite a cross-section of different avenues of work and studies and once again it's a great course for any of us to really take because it allows us to really help in many areas of study and the advances of the studies themselves as well. Okay let's break it down very simply. Statistics basically is the science of collecting data, analyzing data, and drawing conclusions from the data itself. And once again, as I said earlier, we're going to break statistics down in all three of these phases here and talk about the importance of each one of these concepts here. Collecting data, like I said earlier, probably one of the hardest things that we have to do. Assemble the data, grab the data, make sure it's representative of the population. Analyzing data is where we begin to look at possibly some what we call descriptive statistics and some charts and graphs and possibly even looking at certain measurements that are formula driven. And once we've analyzed the data, we want to try to draw some conclusions from the data. Does the data tell us something? Are we able to really get a good picture? Uh, perhaps the whole, the population, after we look at the samples of data. So, once again, statistics is the science of collecting data, analyzing data, and drawing conclusions from the data itself. Now, statistics as a subject is broken into two main branches. The first branch is called descriptive statistics. We're going to spend most of the first semester on talking about descriptive statistics and the second branch that we're going to look at is inferential statistics and in the second semester we're going to be spending most of our time and a little bit at the end of the first semester but in the second semester we're going to take a look at inferential statistics. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the definition of both of these branches. Now descriptive statistics are used basically describe features of the data in a study. With descriptive statistics, you're simply describing what is or what the data shows. Descriptive statistics provide simple summaries about the sample and the measures. They include methods of organizing data, summarizing data, graphically displaying data, and using numerical formulas to describe the nature of the data. All four of these are an important part of descriptive statistics and as we use each one of these methods here, they'll become an important part of the general umbrella of descriptive statistics. Now inferential statistics on the other hand is defined as the branch of statistics that is used to make inferences about the characteristics of populations based on sample data. Okay, once again, typically we don't know what the entire population is really all about, so we try to take representative samples of that particular population, and hopefully if our samples are good, 
we try to infer something to the population itself and possibly make decisions knowing some things about these particular samples. Inferential statistics includes methods of estimating, decision making, and making generalizations from a sample to a population. Inferential statistics is a very powerful branch of statistics and it's used all the time in businesses and sciences to help us make quality decisions and advance our studies in science and medicine to take a look at samples and hopefully try to draw conclusions from those and use those to help us make decisions about the population in general itself. Now let's define some important terms here when we talk about statistics. Now obviously the, the first important term, this has come up several times already in our introduction here, is population. A population is basically any entire collection of people, animals, plants, or things from which we may collect data. So when we talk about in a population, we're talking about an entire set, people, animals, plants, things, which we may want to collect data from. Now a sample, on the other hand, is a subset of a statistical population that accurately reflects the members of the entire population. So a lot of times populations are just too large to study. That sometimes they're impossible to study. So we like to take samples uh, of the population and, and hopefully that sample is a good subset, a good cross-section of the entire population so we can use it to make decisions about the population itself. So in this course we're going to deal mostly with samples to try to help us make some conclusions about the population in general. But before we get there we have to make sure that we accurately take a very quality sample, one that really makes a good reflection of the entire population itself. Now, why statistics? Okay, why, why would people want to study statistics? Why do statistics come about? Why is statistics uh, such an important science and mathematical field? Well, generally, it's difficult, if not impossible, to collect, analyze, and draw conclusions from a population. We talked about that a little bit earlier, and we'll go into that a little bit later as well. If we were able to do that, then there really would be no reason or need for statistics. If we were able to get the data from an entire population we can certainly just study it and, and draw conclusions and make predictions based off those studies of the population but typically that's not a, a very feasible or possible thing to do most of the times it's not even an option at all therefore we use statistics to study samples that are representative of the population to make decisions and conclusions about the population itself. So a very important branch of science and mathematics, statistics allows us to make conclusions about things that are too difficult to basically look at because they're so, so large. The study of statistics deals with understanding how to obtain samples, appropriate samples, and work with the sample data to make statistically justified decisions. So that's really what statistics is all about. That's the importance of statistics. And statistics is really a fairly new branch of mathematics and a very quite interesting field, one I think you're going to find that you're really going to enjoy because there's a lot of application to it. There is a link that really is one of my favorites to watch. It's just a very a short video here. and It's a great introduction to the topic of statistics. And it comes from Eric Neuberger from the United States Census Bureau. And he gives a very brief description to the topic of statistics and its relative importance to our society today. So I'd encourage you to watch this. I will definitely show this within my class. And if you're watching this video, and the PowerPoint certainly will come along with this video as well, there's a link to this if you want to watch this video. And and for those of my students, uh, you want to watch it again, I have the link to this video. If you go out there, try to watch this. It's a fast, fun, and informative video. And to watch it, you can just click the chain links there on the right, and it'll take you to Eric Neuberger's video on the introduction to statistics.